Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 25th, 2020. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses, and so on. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound, and there has been a lot of movement in the market today. Uh, quite a lot of volatility when the U.S. Uh, session opened. And as you can see, Great British Pound, we fell nearly 1%. We are basically uh, testing the 20 exponential moving average. And if this breaks, with that opens the, basically the door to the 40 exponential moving average. However, I don't think that is going to happen. If it does happen, then we'll definitely also go towards the 50. So... Um, just keep that in mind. So if we um, we have fallen here roughly 1%, if we find support here and rally, then that is a really, really good sign that we are going to go significantly higher. But at this stage, it is not too early basically to enter this trade. Otherwise, you could basically put a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential and target these highs and so on. That is a possible trade. But if you look at the uh, technical indicators, you can see that the MACD is turning around, the RSI is turning around, the CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around, and we're basically going towards the middle here in the Bollinger Band. So we were basically at the top, tested up at the top of the Bollinger Band and there, or we basically found a lot of resistance and then broke down quite significantly. So it would be interesting basically to see what basically happens tomorrow because if we find this is basically support, which it has been for a very long time now, then it is a really good trade. Otherwise, if this breaks, then we'll definitely go and test the 40 or probably also the 50 moving average. So let's look at the US dollar yen. Uh, we rallied, uh, we, no, we broke down quite significantly, and then we rallied. So at this point, we are probably going to go a little bit higher. And 20 exponential is probably the first the target, uh, is at 103, 472. After that is the 40 exponential, and there we'll find a massive amount of resistance. So we are in a downtrend. And uh, every time we get to the top of this range, we can basically sell. Every time we get to the lower part, we can basically buy. At this current stage, we are basically in the lower parts of the, of the range. And therefore, you could expect this to basically rally to the upside. Um, if we fall towards this trend line here, then it's a massive buy-in. But a rally up towards the 20 exponential, 40 or 50, all of those are potential selling opportunities. If we get towards the uh, top here to the 100 moving average, then that is basically the optimal selling opportunity at this stage. Technical indicators are all looking fairly bearish at this point. MACD is bearish, the CCI, the RSI is a little bit bullish. Um, the CCI is bearish, the stochastic is bearish. And if you look at the Bollinger Band, we are basically way out. We were way outside of the Bollinger Band. And usually when that happens, you have a pullback at least towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is the 20 moving average. That's roughly um, from here is roughly around 0.32%. Uh, so a small trade, but, but there's most likely where we're going. If we go all the way up towards the 40, that's roughly 0.61, and the 50 is around 0.79%. And in, in this case, I rather wait until this rallies and then sell into this. Uh, that is basically what I'm going to do. So let's look at the euro, US dollar. So this was a really, really good trade. And um, you basically found major support here at the 20 exponential. We have been finding major support at the 20 exponential now for a very long time. We rallied quite significantly up towards the very highs here and then broke down significantly. So we created this um, inverted hammer, as you can say it. It's not a very uh, bullish shine, but when considering that the 20 exponential has been this um, has been this uh, supported, uh, it's really difficult to see that we basically cracked through the 20 exponential head towards the 40. Uh, we may stay here for a while. We may test the 20, uh, 20 exponential again and then rally, but I think uh, the momentum is basically to the upside and has been for a very long time. We've had these periods where we go sideways um, and then 
continue the rally, but we have actually been rallying all the way since March last year. And that's roughly 15.17% since March last year. Technical indicators are, are fairly mixed. And the reason why we basically broke down here is because we went outside of the Bunjar, we got very overstretched and then broke down. Otherwise, technical indicators are mixed. MACD is under the same line. It's still bullish because it's above zero. The RSI is bearish. The CCI is bullish. The stochastic is turning around here and becoming bullish. So, yes, if we go another, uh, if we pull back towards the 20 exponential, find support yet again there, and it is basically a buying opportunity. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, and as you can see, we have broken down quite significantly. We're down 0.44. Uh, we were much lower than that, but we have pulled back a little bit. At this point, I think it is almost guaranteed that we will basically test the 20 exponential. But the 20 exponential has been very, very supportive for a very long time. So this is basically a buying opportunity with a stop loss right on the defair and then the target of these very highs. If you look at technical indicators, they are becoming very bearish at this stage. We are in the MACD crossing the signal line. The RSI is negative. The CCI is becoming negative. It's still bullish. And the stochastic has turned around across the signal line and is becoming bearish. And you can see also here in the Bollinger Band, we were outside of the Bollinger Band. We got way too over uh, bought and overstretched, and therefore we are pulling back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band before we have our next rally. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, and this is a very, very, very interesting um, trade because we fell and then rallied significantly and found resistance here at the 20 exponential. So the 20 exponential has been very resistant for a very long time. However, there have been occasions, for example, when we have broken all the way up towards here, the 150 and also the 100 moving average. But especially the 100 moving average and the 50 moving average, when we basically rallied up towards those moving averages, we have seen these massive falls. For example, here, we can see it basically here, and we can also see it here. So if this is another run at the 50 moving average, then it is something you should basically wait for until it gets there and then just sell it with a basically stop loss uh, above the 50 moving average. Um, we can see that the reason why we basically pull back here because we got very overstretched here in the Bollinger Band. So we went away outside, we rallied up towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, and the question is whether or not we continue this rally up towards the 50 moving average. So technical indicators, for example, the stochastic is bullish at this point. The MACD is crossing the signal line, so it's becoming bullish. The same as the RSI and the CCI is also becoming bullish. So basically wait and see what happens here because it could go towards the 50 and that is your uh, selling opportunity. No interest in basically buying this whatsoever. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.